again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And I'm going to focus, excuse me. And that's a 16 by 20 inch pre-frame black canvas. And I don't have any other plan other than to fill my shovel repeatedly and make marks on my canvas. And then, depending on what I see, I will decide if I'm going to swipe or not. That is some really thick paint and I'm not sure why. Oh, because it's colder here in Florida right now. Come on, out you come. I guess I'll just keep squeezing away. And I've got some that's a little more loose. And I could probably add some more flow to that and make it a lot looser. I saw that dog hair and that other thing. Come here, other thing. Come here, dog hair, or whatever you are. So I'm just going to play for a while. Add colors to the canvas. And maybe tap my shovel. Make some texture. And whatever else is coming is probably not something I'm going to second guess right yet. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to use colors I like. And I might add some colors into them. I've got some color. I tried to make a faux hot orchid from color art and ah, I finally got the lid off. So that's just what I'm going to use. That's all. You can never tell how things are going to turn out. I'm going to put a little bit of, that is a um, folk art neon pink with unicorn spit in it. <laughs> and I'm just going to keep putting my shovel on there. I've got some, uh, oh, I want to know what this is called. This is the... the Pearl Royal Purple from Arteza, and it is the bomb when it dries. It is so shiny and so awesome. What is that? That that does not belong. I might squeeze some, squeeze some other colors on right out of the bottle. Chances are I'm going to swipe through some things before I'm done, but I don't promise that yet. I think I want some white metallic, excuse me. I'm used to using white metallic from Anita's, which is a great all-purpose filler. But right now I'm using Iridescent Pearl Fine from Golden. And my whole idea is basically just to fill in for a while and see what comes about. I want a whole bunch more of that. I want some turquoise. I'm going to use the Peacock from Deco Art Americana. It's kind of thick right now. And I'm not minding that it's... Where are all those filaments coming <laughs> from? Uh... My dog sneaks into my studio sometimes. He pushes the door open and uh, enjoys a little private time, I guess. So that's the turquoise from Hobby Lobby, which is Modern Masters. And it probably still also has some iridescent pearl fine from Golden in it. If I slow my shovel down, it will deposit more paint. I'm going to use some Golden Hour from Arteza, which is a pearly, a very pale gold, very pearly. Tip my shovel back and forth, see if I can get it to come out somewhat evenly. And 
and it's got that Decorate Americana 24 karat gold that I put orange into. I'm not feeling much like I want to do a whole lot to this, but I am going to keep moving and use some deoxazine, deoxazine, dioxazine purple <laughs> from, uh, yeah, from Hobby Lobby brand Mo uh, Master's Touch. Modern, mm. Can't keep the, all those moderns and all those masters from being confused in my head. I want some of that Venetian blue, which is Modern Masters. So the other one must be Master's Touch. There, I figured it out, more or less. <laughs> Too many things. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me, because I will figure it out and tell you the truth when I, when I know it, finally. And I'm not focused so much on what I'm doing yet. That was, I don't have as much room as I used to have before I changed my studio space around, so I tend to want to knock things over a lot more regularly. Now, if this turns out to be something pretty cool, it might be really hard for me to want to destroy it, so get ready for that. I think I'm going to grab a little bit of my Folk Art Color Shifting Purple Flash, which is very similar to other things. So I think I'm going to put some of that hot orchid. I'm almost out. I ordered some, but it hasn't come yet. And uh, so I'm being very judicious about get out of my way, bottles. So far, so good. Feeling the turquoise is coming back. Where'd it go? There it is. So if I squeeze patterns into my shovel, I get patterns out of my shovel too. Which is a pretty cool effect. I like it. I'm just going to keep filling in. Because again, that's the name of my first book. It's on the Amazon link. The Amazon link is under the link tree under the video. Under the under the link tree link, you will find my email address. If you would have any interest in contacting me for an art lesson at the house, private lessons one-on-one, -on -one, or to make the purchase of an artwork, you need the hashtag from the YouTube video you watched it in, or you need to just contact me because my website is actually included on the link tree. And you can see a lot of stuff from the past, even stuff that won for fine art in 2017. I've been basically doing this since then, so I haven't really made a lot of time to do other things. I'm going to do a little more gold now. And then I'm going to contemplate whether I want to put some black in there. I kind of do. And use up all the paint in my shovel by just adding dots or marks a bunch of different places letting the residuals fall right out. I kind of want some blue more Venetian blue I kind of want some gold too. I don't know if I need it as much as I want it. I think something I usually like to do instead of the shovel is drag the spatula through. I want to dip it in some Floetrol for some reason. I hope I don't ruin this. But I've been pretty lucky. If I can keep my lines straight, that's a good thing. So that's okay, I guess. Definitely working with what I what I refer to as a geometric at this point. I 
and I might just go overboard because I can. Hey, my second book is called Unlimited Possibilities, kind of like this has unlimited possibilities. I think that right there should be something more distinct. <laughs> I know it's a danger because it's a pretty cool piece. The danger is in destroying what I like about it the most. But if you don't push your envelope, you never really find out what you can attain either. Now I can finish this, even though there's a matte black background and it's just primer, I can finish this with some Liquitex, add it to some water, thin down with a nice lint-free rag and do a few coats and it will look fantastic. It'll bring the color, it'll help pop the colors a little bit, but mostly it will take away the matteness of the background and it won't be super shiny even though I'm thinking about using gloss. Still having a good time, risky though it might be. <laughs> you can steal a little paint here and there too. Not that that one worked very well. That's okay, I can steal some paint right from next door to it. So, I see that bubble. Goodbye bubble. Oh, I like the crossover effect. I like the uh, the variegated, what do you call, ombre look also, where the colors change. I really did want to put some black in here. I'm not sure I'm over it yet. And I still could or dark purple, or silver, or gold. So let's put a little black in. Because I can. I'm willful sometimes. Kind of makes me want some of the white. I like the little dabs. I wonder if my timer is set. Yeah, no, I still have some time left. Cool. Ooh, dots have entered the picture. Ha. Yes. Cool. Things are not going badly. I got a plug. I don't want a plug. Okay. I must be very close to being done. And it is what it is. And it's kind of fun. And uh, if I wanted to do something else to it, I could always do it tomorrow. Part of me would like to just um, whip through there <laughs> and do my swipe. But I think I want fewer colors spread in wider areas to do that. And this is not that. This is just fun for me. Art therapy. So far it's working just putting the black where there isn't any, any at the moment.
I am quiet. I have over 91,000 subscribers on my channel, and if you're new, please be welcomed. And know that if you go to my channel and you look for Creative Playlists All Playlists, you'll find over 1,700 videos organized so you can peruse them by the hundred or by the topic, genre, whatever you want to call it. I'm getting, I'm getting to feeling like I might be done real soon. I know you've heard it all before. You know enough not to trust me when I say that. And that's a good thing, I guess. So I love you guys. If you can manage to um, give me a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. Your comments keep my morale boosted all the time. Your donations have helped keep me painting all, all this time. And those of you who are still capable of donating and you want to help support the studio's production of videos, you should know that there is an exhibition video on the end screen sharing the prizes for the monthly drawing. And the monthly drawing you are automatically entered in if you are someone who is using PayPal or Patreon or some other form if you talk to me via email. Um, so the, the channel icon, the icons for PayPal and Patreon, and I prefer PayPal, are on my YouTube channel header. That was cool, I like that. I could do that again. <laughs> I've got like three minutes to tell you guys whatever I'm gonna tell you. Make more little Greek keys. I wonder how they'll dry. And I could drop a few more things a few more places, but I'm not sure I'm going to get away with it. But I think you could. I may not be able to. Then again, you never know, I might. I think I have so far. Okay, so this is Priscilla Battelle in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery making a geometric that's kind of fun that looks a little bit like blocks. And I'm telling you I love you and checking my list and saying thank you for the comments, the wonderful comments, and thank you for the donations. And sh shop my Amazon link if you can possibly manage it, because all, all you, if you start on my Amazon link underneath the link tree, then I get a little tiny, tiny, tiny percentage, and eventually it adds up to something that I can buy art supplies with. Check my books out, because I can, and Unlimited Possibilities, they are there on the link tree also. On the Amazon link, my mistake. Pixels.com, Find in America, and... Um, Twitter <laughs> are all on the link tree along with my Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group. So if I had swiped this with Floetrol, I'd probably have all kinds of cells. But it is what it is, and it's kind of cool, and I like it. So um, what else should I tell you? I have Teespring clothing under the video, and it has Oliver print leggings and Oliver print t-shirts. And I'm sure there's something else I forgot, but take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I love you much. Bye for now. Priscilla out.